guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We have got another style for you today, which I can't believe we don't already have on the channel because this is a style that so many people will say, have you got a video of this? Have you got a video of this? And to me, because it's one that I do so often, I kind of think, oh, it's just our normal style. So I, I've never thought about getting around to doing one, but today we've done it. We've done you the classic Elsa braid. It's the one that starts on the side, and then it's swooped down, around, and then back over her shoulder like that. Oh, can you squeeze around past my chair? <laughs> there you go. Um, this style is not as tricky as you think. If you can French braid, you can definitely do this. It's just about knowing which sections to take and when to change the type of section that you take. So I promise you, it's not complicated. And when you see it, you'll be like, oh, it makes so much sense now. So stay tuned, watch the whole tutorial, listen to what I'm saying, and hopefully, you will do it. I promise you, if you can already French braid, you will be able to do this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I've just spritzed some water around her hairline just to catch those little babies while I'm braiding. I've done a deep parting line on the left-hand side of her face. And then I'm going to comb those down. I'm going to make that parting line just slightly longer down onto the her um, crown. And I'm going to comb them onto the sides. I'm going to take a slice of hair like a triangular piece of hair now, comb that through and then using my two fingers I'm going to section that piece of hair into three pieces. So I've now got one, two and three. So this first piece by her face I'm going to take that over the middle and then like a normal braid I'm then going to take the hair, the other piece of hair over the middle. Now when you do a braid you're just going over the middle, over the middle. But because we're going to make this a French braid, we're going to add from her face, I'm going to take a small slice of hair and add it to that piece of hair that's by her face. I'm just going to comb them together because she's got some baby hairs around her face just to make it a bit neater and take both of those over that middle section. Now before I take the next section over, I'm going to add some hair from the parting line and you can see I'm going to take the middle piece under and I'm going to take the piece on the, um, the right hand side over. So now I'm back to the beginning again. So I'm going to add some more hair from her face and I'm going to combine that with the section of hair and I'm going to take them both over the middle. I'm going to take some hair from the parting line, add it to that piece of hair and take them both over the middle together. So it's like when you do a normal braid, you go from the left over the middle, the right over the middle, then the left over the middle, the right over the middle. But all I'm doing each time is before I take them over that middle section, I'm adding a new piece of hair, either from her like the hairline or from that parting line. I'm just smoothing the bits of hair as I go. And I like to do it with a comb because she has got a few baby hairs around her hair because she's still young. So it just helps to pick it up a bit easier. So I'm still taking that hair from the parting line. And I'm just going down fairly evenly all the way down. Taking each slice the same on both sides. Now when I get to the end of that parting line, I'm going to try and diagonal angle my braid in a diagonal part it, um, direction and I'm going to take the hair from the parting line each time. I'm not going to go further down the head. I'm going to keep taking it like the sections of an orange. So I'm going to take like triangle sections. I'm going to start at that parting line and then take the section out. And I'm going to go from behind the ear, go over, take another section of hair. That's going to go from that parting line again take them both over the middle, there we go, picking up that hair, and I'm just doing that now all the way around, just keeping it from that part, keeping, taking the hair from the hairline, but then I'm taking it from the same place on that parting line all the time, so I just keep going from that same place. Now I'm getting towards her neck, my pieces of hair are going to have to get wider at the bottom just to help keep up with the way the braid is going around. So now you're going to do wider sections but coming up in a triangular shape to stop the braid from going baggy. So 
So another slice from that parting line there. Another section from her neck. So I've picked it up with my fingers, but I'm just going to comb it through just to get rid of any little lumps and bumps. I wouldn't normally do this braid in this position really, but I'm doing it, I'm sitting on a chair because I've hurt my knee, but also I'm doing it so that I can show you in the camera as easily as possible. But normally I'd be standing behind her doing it. Okay, just gonna take that piece over again. Walk my fingers back over, holding it in place. Take another section of hair from her neck, adding it and going over. Now, I have done as much as I can do going in that diagonal line. So the next piece of hair is going to be that huge section from that parting line. I'm going to take that whole piece. So I'm not going to take any more small pieces anymore. I'm going to take that whole section of hair right down to her ear. So the whole part the whole section of that parting line is now going to be added to the braid. And this is where you want to be careful because you don't want to get any saggy bits. So make sure that when you're braiding, you're really braiding it fairly tightly just to kind of really secure each stitch in place. So you're re it looks like I'm tugging. It doesn't hurt her. It's just making sure that the hair is going on securely. You don't want to be doing it all like with limp wrists and doing it floppy because it will just sag and you'll have a loose braid. And my girls, my goodness, they cannot stand it when the braid is loose around their neck. They're like, what's all this? And so sometimes if I've rushed it, I end up just thinking, oh, I haven't got time to do it again. I'll just stick a ponytail in on the side because they really don't like it when it flops around. So anyway, I'm just going to finish off just doing a regular braid all the way to the end and then tying it off. If you braid in the direction you want the braid to sit, it will sit much better as well. So here is the finished style. It starts off neat and you can see how it wraps around like lots of little girls want, just like Elsa. So just remember that you're starting with a small section of hair from that parting, going to keep going down, down, down. When you get to the end of the parting line, that's when you start taking in sections like a triangle. And then the sections around the neck, they start getting wider. And then that one big section just by her ear to keep it nice and tight by the ear. Or the neck, sorry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today and you found it useful. I really do think that you'll be able to do this braid. It's not as tricky as you think. For me, this is my go-to style for her, much more than a ponytail, because a ponytail, the bits all fall out of the sides. Her hair's so heavy and thick, it just drops down anyway. This is far quicker. I can do this really, really speedy. You will be able to as well, I am sure. So um, if you do really like it, please give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment in the bottom to let us know what you think and what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe because then you can see the next tutorial coming very soon. You'll get emailed that I've sent, I've done another one. So that's it. So until then, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.